Well, howdy diddly dandy there. Charms tis I, Captain of the Steves. And today, Charms, for you guys out there in the viewerverse, I've got a couple of polls to go through. I know, polls again. But it's to get the idea that what you guys think is on the horizon inside of the viewerverse. Let's jump on over to the old Tinter web and let's have a quick look see, shall we? There we go then. Chicka pow! Chicka boom! Here I am over on the old Tinter webs. And you can see here the first poll from the comments and other creators' videos. These seem to be the front runners of ideas of what the emoji may bring to No Man's Sky. Vote for the one that you think is most likely. Now, so the top one here, Halloween theme to the anomaly, tainted metal items, lore based missions, was kind of put out there by Professor Cynical. Yeah, if I can find his logo, I'll put it below Winamp just there. So yeah, he done an awesome video. If you haven't got to check that out, go check it out. Pretty darn freaking awesome. But he's saying it's long overdue that we haven't had like, you know, some sort of themage to the actual Nexus or the spatial anomaly, whatever you want to call it. And I happen to agree. I mean, virtually every other multiplayer game out there that has lobby spaces, you know, has themage at different times of the year. So yeah, go and hit on up Professor Cynical, I guess. Okay, so next off, Cursed Purple Systems, Planets, Biomes and Items, ARG Part 4. Now, this is kind of where I've been placing my own sort of speculation. I mean, we've got these cursed items inside of game that don't really amount to much. They've got text saying that this worm virus, or this virus is going to follow you all over the universe. And the reason why I nearly said worm virus is because people have been telling me that since Worlds Part 1, if you've got one of these cursed items inside of your inventory, landing on planets makes them all have worms, apparently. Now, I haven't put that to the test, people. So, you know, it's only what I've been seeing inside of my comments, and it's only been a couple of people that have said this. So, yeah, go try it out. Let us know. Sound off in the comments. Let me know if it is true or false. Okay. So, we have got lots of references to curses inside of game. You know, like even on the worm infested planets, you get cursed dust, you know? And we've also got hexite. And that leads to hexes and curses. There's also mentions of curses in the lore when it comes to you know, drinking of the water and the occultists, but we've got that inside of this poll. But as you can see at the moment, the cursed systems, purple system, seems to be ringing out. Now, inside of the data mining, we did find reference to purple systems. So, you know, it's not that much speculation on my part there, to be fair, is it? You know, it's already listed, to be honest. Right, OK, so next up is a Deeper Oceans. Boats, sailor related, dangerous water biomes and fauna. Now, there is a saying, you know, potty mouth of a sailor or whatever. So people are thinking, I mean, when I say people, this came from Jason Plays predominantly. He was the first content creator that I saw to do a video on it. But saying that, yes, maybe it's going to be more pirate related stuff. We've now got the water freaking mechanics. So why not add in some boats? Now, inside of the Light No Fire trailer, you actually see boats on the oceans. And I'd imagine that they can move. And it looks like it's got multiple people on a vessel at a time. If they were to bring something into No Man's Sky to help us traverse the oceans, it would make sense if they added in multi-crew type ships or even some sort of ship that you can land your your spaceship on you know a boat that you can land your ship on that might make sense some sort of aircraft carrier otherwise i just don't see the point in having a boat inside of no man's sky considering that we've already got various multi-crafts that can get us across the ocean or we just fly there and if you've got the aqua jets installed you can land on oceans now so i honestly don't think we're going to see boats but that said Quite a fair few updates ago when we got settlements delivered in. If you actually managed to extract the image, the banner of the settlements out of the game, it actually looks like a pirate ship. <laughs> and it didn't make me think that we was going to get galleons come into game. Myself, I'd done speculation saying maybe we're going to get pirate galleons. We ended up with pirate freighters? So, or dreadnoughts, whatever you want to call them. They did appear some updates later. But mm, I think I'm reaching a bit there, people. But anyway, I kind of feel that Deeper Oceans is probably on the cards, mainly because inside of the data mining, it did say the deeper you go in the ocean, the more your oxygen is going to deplete. So they're going to potentially make oceans more dangerous. And we also know that water biomes, there's three of them 
inside of the actual game files that you can actually access now if you're on Nexus mods and you've got a PC you can install it and see these underwater biomes so we know that they're in the game files too so to see that that's only got a 7% vote there is fairly low I kind of feel that we're going to see elements of that brought into the one above, you know, the 43% with the cursed items. I think we're going to see deeper oceans along with the purple systems. I also think we're going to see the water biomes, and that's why there's biomes inside of that lineup on the cursed systems. So, yeah, I think you might as well add those two together. There's about 50% of people then, isn't it? But anyway, expedition around not drinking the water, cults, worms and curses. So a Halloween expedition, potentially. And only 2% of people think that we might see a Halloween expedition. Want to see poll results? Hoping for all the above. Worlds Part 2, 28% of people are thinking that. So there's a right mixture across the board there. No one really knows what's going on. No one really knows what will be delivered in. But yeah, uh, there's a sporting comments on here. So I can just... um scroll down a little bit there you can see mentions of cursed dust not drinking the water and all that sort of stuff but yeah saying that the expedition around not drinking the water would be so, would sound so out of context for anyone who hasn't played no man's sky a lot of things will be out of context for people that haven't played no man's sky i mean let's face it we had an expedition a little while ago with loads of worms jumping out and the occultists talking about putting out sacrificial lambs to these worms that wouldn't have made much sense either when you think about it you know and for those that have never played no man's sky running endurance starting on a freighter might have thrown them somewhat you know so i don't think you can really overly use that too much as an argument there but oh well it's there Cool. I'm pretty sure most people and po polls were confused most likely with what they personally wish the update to be. Well, I did specify up here that it's other content creators and from the comments that I've seen inside of the verse. So, you know, I don't think so either. You know, yeah, I think a combo of the top two choices. I think, yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I'm leaning into perhaps as well, but not the top two, mine and say Jason's. I don't think they're going to theme the Nexus, although they are missing a trick. Like Pookie says there, I'm honestly quite surprised Hello Games has never given the Nexus a themed O makeover like many other games with hub areas do. Exactly! You know? So there we go. And well, I'll just scroll on down a bit there. Oh, the structure's there. If you haven't checked out the structure, they do content on No Man's Sky. Pretty darn freaking awesome. But yeah, it would make sense for them to put out ARG Part 4. You're quite right. Anyway, so there we go. Dundally and done. All sorts going on there, peeps. All sorts going on there. Anyway, next tab, next poll. Data mining of No Man's Sky has brought up a few ideas of what the emoji may mean. What one of the below do you think is the most chance to appear? Deeper, deadlier oceans and underwater biomes. 20% of people think that. Relic biomes, relic giant traveller statues. 8%. More boss battles with boss-like fauna. 7%. Purple star systems perhaps avoid mother. 36% of people think that. Want to see poll results, 29. So I think, again, you may as well put all this together because I, I kind of think that we, you know, because we've seen it in the data mining, normally when we go for data mining type stuff, we know that probably about 90% of it might come in and 10% might have just been drafty type stuff that's going to be crossed off the list and never appear. Like lifts in freighters like we saw ages ago with endurance and the overhaul to the freighter interiors. So there is that. There's 11 comments there. I'm just going to scroll on these. I'll scroll rather slowly and I'll just read out some that sort of, you know, grab my attention so santos there eugene my fall my my feeling is that deeper deadlier oceans will come with worlds part two but what do i know yeah this is the thing isn't it is how much of these things are going to come out in a small update or how many things are going to come out in worlds part two does make you wonder you know so i i think any guess is anyone's guess right now i think there's things that are more likely than less likely and I think there's some ideas that are more reaching than others. And I think that there's ideas that have probably been generated based off of these data mined links. So, for example, if we didn't have any of this data mining at all, what would I think this emoji means? Well, to be honest, you know, like when we had the next update drop and everybody inside the next emoji would go, oh, my God, oh. 
losing my mind. Whoa! Swear word, swear word. Oh my days! Oh, swear word, swear word. Ah! Oh! 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 Shit! Oh! Shit! Guys, it's on the it, it's on the Twitch. It's on the Twitch. Yeah, oh my god! What the fuck? Holy what? fuck! Those clouds! What the fuck? What Third person. First person. Yeah. I kind of feel if I didn't have all this data mining stuff, so if I didn't know that purple systems were on the bake, if I didn't know that deeper oceans were coming, if I didn't know about these other biomes, if I didn't know any of this stuff, if I hadn't seen giant fauna being attacked under the oceans. I would think that this was probably Worlds Part 2. Because of how everybody reacted in that trailer, I kind of feel that, you know, they're swearing to high heavens. So maybe, maybe it's going to be Worlds Part 2. That's where I'd go with this, because I usually think in the realms of overhyping. I was also watching a chap earlier today called Hexaberry. If you haven't seen Hexaberry, he's quite new to covering No Man's Sky. Very laid back, lovely individual. And he said the same thing. I was like, yeah, that was my gut feeling when I first saw this. I was like, I, they casted my mind back to that trailer where everybody was swearing. I was like, could it be? But then I was like, well, I don't think it is because of all this data mine stuff. Have I let the data mine stuff cloud my judgment? But anyway, Hello Games does their own patterns and they even do patterns with the emojis. Now, normally this, this is a three in a row type emoji usually appears on the Monday of the week that it's going to drop, or late Sunday. And I usually think that it means that, well, we've got three more sleeps to go. But they dropped on Friday, and it's Monday now. I don't think we're going to see the updates on a Monday. I don't think we've ever had an update on a Monday. Mainly because PlayStation Store usually updates on a Wednesday. So to see this happen on Friday, I was thinking maybe we might see a trailer today on Monday. And then maybe Sean might drop two emojis or something to manage so, you know, two more sleeps to go until it launches. I don't know. I think something might happen today. I know something's happening today. The expedition's ending today, but I don't think that's anything to write home about when it comes to these emojis. But anyway, that's that's that. But also in here, I mentioned that there hasn't been a cowboy structure created out of these emojis. Normally when you see a cowboy pattern, it means that we might see an expedition. We haven't seen a gib emoji, and sometimes Sean replaces its eyes with the emojis there. We haven't seen that happen, so I don't think it's a huge update. I think that this is like having three dots and it's a continuation of their journey, the journey so far. And I kind of think this would be a named update, but it's gonna be something like desolation sort of size. Maybe the abyss at the biggest when it comes to like deeper oceans and ocean overhaul. But I think this is just going to be a named update that's just going to be content with a little bit of lore. That's what I'm thinking. And it's going to update the Quicksilver store with a whole load of fresh new items. And those fresh new items might give us subtle hints as what's to come over the year or over the festive period. But to be honest, I think over the festive periods, we're going to get reduxes. I don't think we're going to see anything else. I think we might see a PlayStation 5 Pro uplift. But that's about it. That's all I'm thinking. And I think we're going to see the other stuff happen um, ne early next year or maybe even spring, summer of next year. But I think there is a likelihood that we might see ARG Part 4 completed in this named update because that would be law and content. That fits the bill, ARG Part 4. That's what I'm reckoning in any way, people. And I think that would give us a setup and a better idea of what ha might happen for Worlds Part 2. And here's the comments on this one. Oh, it's Unholy Mr. Brown. I like Unholy Mr. Brown. It's obviously a Halloween update with some creepy content, but I think Worlds Part 2 would be next year. Bang on to what I just said. Yeah, heck yeah. Uh, I'd have to agree. Yep. So yeah, lovely jubbly. So yeah, just scrolling down a bit. Attention, on your marks, cowboy, any moment now. We will see. We'll see if that happens. But yeah. Right, final poll. Now, this is a poll that I put up the other day, just asking people, do you think it could be Worlds Part 2? Based on that swearing emoji, cursing, I meaning it could be next sized, you know? Or maybe it's Cursed Worlds, and Worlds Part 2 might all be part of Cursed Worlds and planets. But yes, that makes sense. 45% of people. No, that's reaching. 7% of people say that. 
Maybe with the emoji it could be anything. 37% of people. So there's more people saying yes, it could be Worlds Part 2 than not. So that's a real weird one, isn't it? You know, it could be Worlds Part 2. I don't want to overhype it. That's what I'm worried about doing. But at the same time, there's a lot of people and even Hexaberry touched on it in his video saying, you know, it, maybe it could be the next emoji with people swearing and losing their minds. And I I did have that in my gut when I was thinking about I was thinking maybe maybe that's what it's a reference to. Because it's such a weird emoji for Sean to use. I was I was actually in two minds. Is this the emoji or not? It really did stump me. And the first thing that came to mind was you know, the swearing in the next sort of update. Because I've even made reference to it in past speculation videos saying about, you know, everybody losing their minds during the next. It would be so cool to have another Gib update this year. And then we got Wells Part 1. And I'm like, OK, we got the Gib update this year. And I'd imagine there were a few people going, oh, my God. Oh, this is crazy. This is amazing. It's an overhaul to everything. Ah! Me included. So, yeah, I kind of feel that it has some sort of merit to it. And Wells Part 2 could be completely mind-blowing. In fact, I mentioned it in my previous video. I said it could be, you know, Sean Murray going, oh my God, look what we've just gone and done, people. Almost like having a BFG weapon from Doom. So, yeah, it's it could be that. It could be that. Yeah, you never know. With Sean Murray, it could be freaking everything, couldn't it, at the end of the day? But anyway, that's pretty much everything that I think that I have going on inside of the verse. So a lot of that speculation has come from other content creators. It's come from comments and feedback. Even on these polls, you can see the type of comments I've been having. Everybody has got mixed feelings of what this actual emoji might mean. And I think because of the data mining and that we already have subtle hints as what's to come and what's around the corner, we just don't know what corner it's around. We don't know whether it's immediate or we don't know whether it's going to be in Worlds Part 2. We don't know whether this is Worlds Part 2. I would say if everything goes swimmingly, it could be Worlds Part 2 and it could be massive. Because it coincides with the PlayStation Pro launch, it will go with a bang and it might sell a few more PlayStation 5 Pros. But that's really not Hello Games' objective. They're here to sell No Man's Sky. And the actual numbers for No Man's Sky, although they're quite low at the moment, Aquarius did lift them up for a little while. It did carry people. It, and the water effects from Worlds Part 1 combined with Aquarius has done a world of good for No Man's Sky. It's put it back into people's consciousness and thoughts and minds. Asmund Gold also covered uh, No Man's Sky, and that helped lift it a little bit more. Yeah. Then again, there's a lot of drama around Asmund at the moment, which I'm not going to get into. <laughs> but then, you know, there's so much that's lifted No Man's Sky this year. So Hello Games is already riding a wave. Forgive the pun. So they've already got a fair bit of traction there, haven't they? You know, from what they've already done. They've done a lot of hard work. They're sort of like riding that. But at the same time, I kind of feel it could happen. It could because you know when they launched Worlds Part 1, there was some text that came up and it said more to come later this summer. Then they removed that. They removed later this summer and they changed it to just coming later or coming soon. So I think they had it planned, but I think it might get pushed back. How far it gets pushed back is a different thing. Now, we've already had Sean of the Murray's say it's called Worlds Part 1 because there's more to come. The update is called Worlds Part 1 because I guess there's there's much more to come. But even then, he didn't say how soon. Just there's more to come. Now, you can kind of see from when they put out their Light No Fire trailer almost a year ago now, and we've heard nothing else since. Soon to Hello Games or driving up hype is what they do and what they do best. And they don't mind people are waiting for the stuff to come out because they're going to get it as fine tuned as they want to deliver something over that people are going to enjoy for a while. You know, and I say for a while because a lot of updates that have come out or as good as they have been, including, say, Aquarius and the fishing element. I've now completed my fishing catalogue. I've got very little else to do inside of No Man's Sky. And what I must say and stress to Hello Games, if you're watching or anybody that knows people that work at Hello Games, 
is I did all that fishing. I completed all the different biomes, all the different sort of pages of my fishing book. Did I get anything? No. Did I get given some free bait? No. Did I get given a new rod or anything? No. Did I get a new skin? Did I even get a title? No. I didn't get nothing for doing that. There needs to be more rewards for people doing these things or else people just aren't going to do them. They're not going to do it. They're just going to casually, oh yeah, whatever. Yeah. I'm not going to get anything out of doing this, so, you know, whatever. There needs to be time served gives a reward. Uh, it, risk and reward is another thing too. It's like those, those liquidator bugs, the big broods that you've put in. Yeah, we shot the heck out of them. I've got all the heads now. I've got all the different masks. Will I be summoning the broods just to have a bit of fun and fight them? Probably not. If I land on an aggressive planet and I get attacked by one in the wild, fine. But it doesn't come up with like the boss bars or anything, does it? So it's, I don't know. I think there needs to be more triggers to these broods. It's like, you know, if you go to one of those abandoned buildings and you go near to the eggs, you know, like the derelict freighters, how they pulsate, boom, 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 boom. And you get too close, they actually hatch. I think the eggs should do that. And you get the little green meanies come out. You shoot too many of those little green meanies, then I think a big brood mother should appear. Yeah, you know, she's probably laid the eggs. Make her appear. That, that, that kind of worked for me, to be honest. Just add a bit more danger, add it in. I mean, they're signposted well enough, but if you make them pulsate, a bit like the things on the derelict freighters, job freaking done. You know, I don't know. I just don't think I'm going to be taking out brood mothers all too much after I've got awarded those items. I would say probably add in some other items in there, maybe some tech for the biological ships. You know, we're killing organic beasties give us some organic tech out of doing that and have a lot of randomly generated weaponry stuff that's very custom that'd be pretty darn cool even if it's just different colors to the pulses or the, the the energies that you fire out the laser beams or whatever yeah i don't know there's a lot that could be done take inspiration from other games and take a look at the way that they structure stuff when it comes to raids and loot tables because at the moment we've got some loot tables they're not the greatest of loot tables, and the actual depth of the rewards is quite limited. Well, I'll give some prime examples. But anyway, thank you guys out there for watching, but I honestly do think that we need an update that's going to bring us back to play and play and play and play and play. Raid systems, guild systems, loot tables, risk versus reward, things like that, end game stuff. I'm playing a game right now called Throne and Liberty. You play all the way through and when you hit level 50 that's when it's all about polishing up what you've got all the gear you've got getting all the damage numbers to the fullest of potential getting yourself ready for bigger challenges when it comes to guilds and group events and i kind of feel that we need that sort of element we need to be able to join some sort of faction or guild and go up against massive challenges and work on getting the best numbers out of our gear i kind of feel that that's end game and the end game right now is rather lacking in No Man's Sky. But anyway, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.